A DNA test can predict our chances of developing diseases such as cancer, diabetes or Alzheimer's. And it allows us to find out more about our own evolutionary history. never before. In the not too distant future, scientists are going to use our genomes to create individually targeted medicine. But a little bit like Darwin's theory of natural selection, misunderstood or in the wrong hands, this could cause great unfairness, great political problems. If you are tagged with a particular genetic disease or certain character type, you could be refused health insurance, you could be turned down for a job unfairly. And looking ahead, there are even more sinister kinds of choosing to come. Darwin said nothing about how life originated. You fool! Evolution is not a theory about the origin of life. It explains the diversity of life. Your statement is about as stupid as saying Newton was wrong because Newtonian mechanics doesn't explain light. Darwin had no idea of how complicated the cell was. You fool! Darwin had no more idea of the complexity of the cell than Newton had that matter was made up of atoms. However, this in no way undermines the validity of either evolution or Newtonian mechanics. Uh, and there hasn't been much progress in Darwinism since then. You fool and double damn fool. Firstly, there is no such thing as Darwinism, any more than there is such a thing as Newtonianism, Einsteinism or Faradayism. There is only evolution which was first established by Darwin just like there was only relativity that was first established by Einstein. Secondly, not much has changed since Darwin. It's really difficult to withstrain one's anger when a man so willfully parades around his proud ignorance as a badge of creationist honour. Not much has changed since Darwin, you fool! There was the discovery of DNA, arguably the most important discovery in the history of mankind, and yes, it fitted exactly with evolution. Then there was the discovery of DNA replicates, messenger RNA, and virtually every aspect of biochemistry. Phospholipid bilayers, the Krebs cycle, RNA transcriptase, photosynthesis, iron pumps, sugar and lipid chemistries, most of them Nobel Prize winning discoveries, and yes, every single aspect was 100% compatible with evolution.